Today I want to go through the entire process of using the capsule, fill, capsule filling machine. Uh, I've got all the parts laid out here and so just want to go through all the steps so that you can uh, put together your own capsules. So the main part here is the body plate and this is the part where we will place the body of the capsule. Uh, the capsule it has two parts. The body is the longer part and the cap is the smaller part. So first step, actually before the first step, uh, we have the tamping tool which comes with the handle. Uh, the handle is not put together uh, out of the box. So there's two screws uh, you'll need to put together here. I did this already just for the sake of time for this video, uh, but you will need to do that. So uh, the first step here is to get the alignment plate and place it on top of the body plate. Uh, there's four screws here and there's four little indentations uh, in, the, um, in this tool. They'll go right on top of it to keep it securely in place. So uh, what I did also beforehand, I separated into two separate bowls. I've got the bodies of the capsules in one and the caps in the other. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got about 120 or so uh, capsules here. I'm going to pour the capsules into uh, the plate here. And uh, there's a little hole here so that you can let them out at the end, but you need to put your hand over it as you're shaking these to get them into the holes. So basically what I do, just put my hand over it here, and um, I'm going to start shaking this so that the capsules will fall into the holes and fill up all 100 of the holes. So uh, just kind of start shaking it around, up and down a little bit, get it moving back and forth. And the goal is to fill as many of these as you can uh, so that then at the end, you might still have a few to do by hand, but uh, we're just trying to get as many of them in here as we can. Um, now one, option you have if you prefer not to be shaking it around like this is you can actually do this manually and uh, put them in the holes one by one but uh, and that's just your preference it might take a little longer but at least you'll know that you've got them in in all the holes so right now I can see that I've got uh, just about all the holes filled so what I'm going to do now is just uh, holding the parts together still but let all the extras fall down here through the hole might need a little bit of manual help here. Okay, so it looks like I filled all the holes except for one. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and take this top plate off. Um, a couple of them went in upside down, and so this has springs on it. The easiest way to flip them over is to just press down, pull out the capsule that went in upside down, flip it around, All right, so now I've got all of them filled. Okay, so that's the first step here. Now, the next thing we need to do is to put the spill guard on top because our next step is to put our powder into uh, the bodies. So I have here cinnamon, and so today I'll be making cinnamon capsules. So. I'm just going to put, you don't have to put an exact amount in the first time you do it. Uh, I'm just going to put uh, a good amount of powder in here to start out with. And I will then use the spreading tool right here to spread and just going to start spreading this into all of the capsules. Um, once we get it in, I did not put quite enough here to fill them, so I'm going to just put a little bit more in. And this is a process. You can try to get it exact, but it doesn't need to be. Uh, you can fill these up uh, multiple times because we have the tamping plate that we're going to use next. And the tamping plate we will put on here to tamp down and get these uh, capsules as full as possible. So we'll get the tamping plate, uh, you'll get the little feet, try to line, line them up with the holes in the capsules and just kind of press down a little bit. 
And we'll now have uh, more space to put more cinnamon, so I'll pour a little bit more here. And we will continue to fill these. Uh, and the spill guard helps, you know, keep it from falling over the edges. So you can actually put a little bit more if you prefer to do this in a few less attempts than I'm doing here. All right, got those full again. So I'm going to tamp these down one more time. And we'll do this once more. Okay, now this also has a little space here on the side, as you can see, so that we can pour the excess out. So I'm going to put this in my extra bowl here. Uh, and the attempt here is to try to make it as clean as possible, which is why we have the spill guard on here. Uh, that's a little optional. If you don't mind making a little bit of a mess, it takes a little bit longer with this on here, but at least it's a little bit of a cleaner process. Okay. All right, so we've got that. So now we are done with the spill guard here. Um, there actually is a little bit more on here, so I'm going to clean this off as well. Just take a couple more seconds. Okay, so now uh, we need to put our caps on. So this piece is the cap plate <coughs> and the smaller parts we're going to put in here. We're going to do the same thing we did before. So we'll use the alignment plate, put it on top of the cap plate, pour the caps in here, and then we will now shake this around and get the capsule caps to go into place. Now, as you saw the previous time, there were a couple that went in backwards. Uh, I'm looking at this one right now, and it looks like I've got several that have gone in backwards. So we'll have to go through the process here of, uh, actually, let's remove the, the excess here that we've got. Okay. And I see a couple here that, that did not fill in, so I'm going to manually uh, fill those here. Oops. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take the alignment plate out now. And there are a few, as I said, that have gone in upside down, so I just will have to manually flip these over and put them into place correctly. Okay, and our next step now is to basically merge these two together. Um, to do that, we will use the merge plate. The merge plate has two uh, indentations on one side, and so that side needs to be face up. And we're going to put this down on top of uh, the cap plate to hold the caps in place. So with the caps in place, now we'll put our fingers here, flip this upside down, the merge plate keeps them in place, and we're going to set this directly on top of the body plate. Um, again, on this one, also we've got the holes, and these holes will line up with the screws, and so we'll put it right on top, just like this. And now it's ready to clamp them together. And so to do that, we're going to press down. We need to press down pretty firmly. Do that from uh, the sides, from the middle, and go back and forth. You'll usually hear a snap. So I'm just going to pick this up now and start pressing down. And I'll press on the sides. And, and we'll press in the middle. 
and I'm hearing some of them clamp down. Okay, so, and again, with a little bit of trial and error, you'll figure out how much pressure you need as you uh, go through the process. Um, okay, so once that's done, I take off the top cap plate and you will have now your capsules that once you pick up the merge plate, they should stick in the merge plate here. And as you see, they have. Uh, and what I like to do just to make sure that they are put together and, and snapped in, I'll just randomly pick a few and push from both sides to make sure that they've snapped together. And all of these, it sounds like they have. So uh, at this point, you just wanna have uh, a bowl or a plate or something. Uh, and we will flip it over and they should all come out. And there you go. So now we have 100 full capsules. Um, that's the process. It's uh, pretty simple, but that's what we do. And uh, so hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, uh, you can send us an email or uh, reply uh, in the comments and we will answer any questions you have. Thank you.